One limited, five-star character, Dr. Ratio. That is to say, me. Through sheer what? tyranny of... Yo, super excited. Let's go. Yo, I'm Three super excited. Three Genius Society members at the same time. I knew this interview was a bad idea. Mr. <gasps> Screwlem. Screwlem, what's going on, man? Sophisticated mechanical aristocrat and renowned leader. Not to mention the savior of inorganic life throughout the universe. He's as sharp as they come. He recognized my brilliance in an instant. Now, if I can just get him to recommend me. And his astonishing wisdom in the field of broadcasting has been duly recognized by Noose himself. Yo, Mojo, Ergo, what's going on, man? The Genius Society hereby confers upon Mr. Albert the title of member 85. Member really? 81, Ron May. Oh, oh, she seemed God, like a kind of elegant going on? person in the simulated universe. A little distant, though, but what if I ask a bad question? <laughs> Since when does Albert ask bad questions? <laughs> this little bird has an active imagination. Ugh. Quit! Yo, heard us here as well! The program is about to start! What are you waiting for? A trailer or something? Yo, let's go! Come on, bring on the trailer! Bring on the trailers! Let's go! <gasps> oh my god, look how adorable. Most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. Buzz. Madam Herta, open zone. Buzz. Oh, dude, this is looking amazing. Let's go. Come on, please. Let's go. We better, we better be getting something good. Let's go. Permission status. Madam Oh, God. Know about oh, the space station. oh, damn. It's crucial damn. to ask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. Oh, yo, is that a banjo? S? It's a full of weaknesses that others can see through. I know it's not a banjo, but damn almighty. Yo, she has pets that just follow her. And how will you counter it? Seriously, I must have him. I must have him. I must have him. Is He's absolutely insane. Internal terminal. He's a historian! I am too! Do try I am to too. think for yourself. I have a master's in history! I've gotta have it! The gods of the starry it. skies have abandoned the world. Only the wounded savior can bathe the world in the firelight of destruction. No matter the distance, annihilation will find you. Oh my! Hey, audience dice. How ostentatious. Dude, when is Screwlem coming into the game? When is Screwlem coming into the game? We gotta have Screwlem. Oh yo, redemption code, everyone. Redemption code, let's go. We gotta get we gotta get the redemption. Okay, look. We, we, we'll put that in a little bit later. Here we go. Here we go. Come on, man. Let's go. Come on, man. We gotta have. It. Let's go. And whether or not your world has a day-night cycle. Good, good morning, Lord have mercy. Good she is and good gifted. Evening. And if you didn't know already, hey, I'm hey, Robert, says, David, did you know that your gene is so divine that you can't escape her next patch of Genshin? Red Ninja, you know who to ban! Announcer, welcome to the version 1.6 crown of the mundane and divine special program. On oh. today's program, we're bringing together three intellectual heavyweights from none other than the Genius Society. Oh, why don't you introduce yourselves? Madam Herta, care to kick us off? Yeah, whatever. Herta here. <clears throat> Madam Herta, like we said, uh, remember? Enthusiasm. Seriously? Crown Fine. of the Mundane and Divine? I'm Herta. <laughs> No, we're talking. Uh, and uh, let's not forget the new face on the block, 
Madame Ron May! Hello, dear viewers. Oh, I'm God, May. stop it. I suppose oh, that hello. makes it my turn. Greetings, viewers. I am Screwlem. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, the pleasure is all ours. I never thought I'd be interviewing all three of you at the same time. I guess the great news must have finally recognized my potential. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. This is a scheduled space station visit. Lucky for you, we had time for a show. Or, to put it another way, participating in your program was a way of maximizing the utility of our itinerary. Yo, when is screw Two coming, birds, man? One stone. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyhow, we saw from the trailer that the story is making a return to her to space station. Intelligence available for release in the case of the following. Madame Ron May has commandeered one of the space station zones for biological science experiments. Her name is Ron May? I like to avoid attracting too much attention with my experiments. And the oh. station had a sealed off area available. Can I be your Hunter experiment? Was kind enough to lend it to me. Big enough to spread across three levels. This area is a brand new domain waiting for us in version 1.6. Oh, Welcome let's go. To her to Space Station Seclusion Zone. Due to nice. the secrecy surrounding this zone, there's currently not a soul to be found across the whole domain. Rebuttal. Your assertion excludes the existence of inorganic life operating in the area. <laughs> Naturally, as I was saying, the story is set to unfold in this new domain. Wait, so you still need the seclusion zone, Ronmei? I do. My research has encountered a few anomalies. I was hoping the Trailblazer could do me a small favor. I'll do anything favor? for you. A small? Yeah, I'm not sure about the second one, but this is a golden age for biological science. No problem too big or too small, right? In version 1.6 is brand new Trailblaze Continuance, crown of the mundane and divine. Trailblazers will encounter Madame Ron May for the first time. They'll need to work closely with her to solve the headaches of her to space station. For example? <laughs> One Let's such go, man. is the result of the little life forms that Ron May has been cultivating. I'm afraid that's the nature of biological science. Surprises and accidents in equal measure. Not to mention, the space station is hiding more secrets than you might have thought. Various crises bubble to the surface, heard his puppet falling prey to an ambush, and a new provocation that the geniuses must face up to. Small favor can't fix, right? We got the three geniuses here. <laughs> what could go wrong? In Mr. Albert's previous broadcasts. A shadow wielder has given from the strength of their heart. What? Red? Shadow Wilder has ascended to new heights. Your power has awakened. What? A Shadow Wilder has ascended to new heights. Your oh my power God. has awakened. Dude, what the hell just happened? Oh my God, what in the world was this? Red Ninja has renewed their Shadow Wielder membership for five months. A five month streak? Oh, <gasps> wait a minute. Red Ninja. Okay, that must have been an automated one that just goes through. Um, wait a minute for a second. Oh, <gasps> yo, next month he gets the next badge. Oh my God. Yo, Red. Much love, man. Much love. I appreciate you. And Gil Doan? What's going on, man? And Thomas Ryan as well. Both of them uh, subscribed. Thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate you. Seriously, much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate you. Seriously. Uh, where are they coming from? So it, so it looks like uh, uh, Gildoan and Thomas Ryan both subscribed uh, overnight. Uh, so this was after our uh, last... We, we did a stream last night, right? Uh, it was after last night's stream. 
but but before the before this stream it was some somewhere in between there sometimes they're they're delayed and everything when they when they come through and everything uh so yeah yo super super excited let's go man let's go don't know last night i was dead yo ghost what's going on man dude you're not dead right now man oh my god i'm super super excited let's go yo this is 51 minutes long holy shit man we're only 14 minutes in let's go the adoption of a light-hearted tone usually indicates the presence of a formidable challenge. Yes. <laughs> My beak is sealed. This is a top secret experiment. But trust me, when I say that the adventure ahead is a journey into both the power and wonder of biological science. And what better way to prepare our trailblazers than by introducing the one and only Madame Ron May. So her name is Ron May. Got it. Okay. Jesus Christ, you are fine. God damn, what's going on? Honey? Damn, holy shit. Yo, all right. So she plays an instrument? This is absolutely insane. I've got to know what the hell this bitch does because it, I don't even know what she does. I don't even know what she does, man. Like, I'm super excited. Yo, is that her ultimate? Madam Ron oh. May is an ice type Let's character go. following the path of harmony and <gasps> member 81 of the Genius oh. Society. From Ooh. the very beginning, hey. her research has focused on biological science. Emmy That's Lou? right. Emmy biological Lou? science is a boundless field. I rarely have time for leisure. And despite being one of the founders of the simulated universe, I seldom step up to the plate. Madam really? Ramey, I was curious. Is there a story behind your name? My name? My parents organized themselves into a flat hierarchical structure. My name is simply the combination of their surnames. Okay. Fascinating. Wow. Really? Spellbinder oh. tradition. I believe you may be laying it on a little thick. Mr. Ooh, Albert, damn, she, are she's you a little hoping thick. for something in return? Oh, uh, I am too. Who wouldn't hope for a is it me or is it getting hot in here? Michael, May. stop it, man. You're making it even more <laughs> Trailblazers hot. agree with me. It. Then let me remind you that a genius's blessing isn't always a result of generosity or Seriously, I, what, what does she do? Let's go. Let's go. Aren't this you time. supposed to be intelligent? You tell me. Many individuals have a hidden side. Ergo, Trailblazer's encounter with Ron May may hold surprises. Da -da -da, spoiler atomic clock! Nice, let's I go. I think it's time we took a look at what this elegant scholar can do on the battlefield. Oh, Don't you? Come on, please. My basic let's go. attack, threading fragrance, deals yeah. ice damage to a single target. Nice. While my skill, string sing slow swirls, can increase yeah. the weakness break efficiency of all allies. There's also my ultimate. Petals to stream, repose and dream, which creates a field. Only the most beautiful oh. field I've ever oh seen. Oh my gosh, she's so divine. <laughs> a work of art, madam. She's so divine. In the field, allies experience an all type resistance penetration increase. And when breaking an enemy's weakness, they afflict yeah. them with a mark. This mark is triggered oh by the enemy's next action, prolonging yeah. their weakness break state, delaying their action, and inflicting them with additional ice damage. You have oh, a knack for exploiting God, an enemy's weakness, Ron May. Oh, <laughs> I'll say, God. and we didn't even mention her technique, Silk and What's her Serenade, talent? which allows the team to automatically trigger an effect equivalent to her skill at the start of the next battle. In the simulated universe, when Ron May possesses Silk and Serenade, and when an ally attacks a simulated universe enemy, the battle is entered as if the enemy's weakness was attacked. The attack ignores really? weakness types and can deplete the toughness of all enemies. Breaking totally weakness just can trigger the weakness the break effect that corresponds to the attacker's own type. Not only that, Good in Lord the simulated have mercy. universe, for every yeah. blessing possessed, the toughness reducing damage of the current attack is increased, and extra additional ice damage is dealt. Oh, wow, God, stop. Very this good. is driving me insane. Sounds to me like you have an interest in testing the simulated universe. After Trailblazers get to know Ron May, another scholar with connections to the Genius Society will be appearing in this Trailblaze Continuance. Oh, I assume you're referring to the gentleman with the alabaster head? Classic Mr. Scrollum. <laughs> Able to see the gentleman behind the mask. <laughs> gentleman, my foot! Damn! Herta, 
You're being a little harsh. She Sounds is? Sounds like you two are well acquainted. She's <laughs> feisty. Without further ado, did she just see her allow do this? me to introduce him. Yo, did she just flip off Ruan May? Allow me to... She just flipped off Ruan May? Look at this. This is a fun Hata, shit. Look. You're being a little harsh. Sounds like you two are well acquainted. <laughs> Without further ado, allow Love me it. to introduce him. Love it. Let's go. Oh, God. Here's the historian, man. We got to get him. We got to get... Dude, he's a historian. That's me. That's me. I got a master's in history. I got to get him. Let's go. Dude, his attacks, they all look like physics. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Veritas Let's go. We got to get him. Or... Got Dr. To. Ratio, as he's known, Let's go. is an imaginary type character following the path of the hunt. He belongs to a different noose worshipping organization, the Intelligentsia Guild. Which is why I can't stand the sight of him. The Genius Society consists of vanguards from various fields who act in isolation. In contrast, the Intelligentsia Guild advocates for the dissemination of knowledge, allowing for a broad church of followers of Noose who work towards furthering this end. Question. Does the current universe derive greater benefit from the unparalleled talents of the Genius Society or the mutual learnings of the Intelligentsia Guild? You sure you want to go there? <laughs> Let's not. <laughs> Is that why Dr. Ratio joined the Intelligentsia Guild? A devotion to science, a desire to share scientific knowledge. Yo, he just exactly. looks so awesome, man. Dr. Ratio presides over a total of 52 academic programs. Huh. And yells at people until they burst into tears. I love her to me. Strict She's so sassy. It's driving me insane. And any student who makes it to the end of a program will be an expert scholar in their respective field. And an emotional wreck. Huh. Ignorance is an ailment, the expungement of which only our Dr. Ratio can achieve, and which entails necessary hardship. By which Yo, what you does he do? Let's go. I don't even know. Any and all self -esteem. <clears throat> His creations have helped many worlds look beyond their borders and step into the future. <laughs> I feel like we might accidentally be discussing. Perhaps I should intervene. Dr. Ratio's desire oh. to cure ignorance with truth is well known. It's time for us to assess oh, his screw him. on the was Dr. Ratio. During his basic attack, mind is might, Dr. Ooh, Ratio go. brandishes his codex, dealing imaginary damage to a single target. Nice. Question, why does he carry a codex with him? Because he's cool! Intellectuals enjoy persuading others with quotes. I yeah. think Dr. Ratio takes that to mean hitting people with them directly. Dr. Dude, Ratio's I'm all for skill, it. intellectual midwifery, deals imaginary damage to a single target. Midwifery? Kokito ergo sum may trigger him to launch a follow-up attack top of after there? using his skill. As a rigorous academic researcher, Dr. Ratio pays close attention to his enemy's debuffs during battle. Yo, is that a follow-up attack? The more debuffs attack? the enemy has, the higher the chance of him launching a follow-up attack. And oh, let's not God, forget his him. ultimate three-step paradox. The good doctor summons a leaning tower and through a series of precise calculations and measurements, plus a trajectory of maximum pain, the target <laughs> enemy suffers imaginary love damage and is afflicted it. with wise man's folly. Yo, here's an ancient When a target Greece. with wise man's folly ancient is attacked Greek by an ally of Dr. Ratio, he launches his talent's follow-up attack against go. the target. And when using Let's his go. technique, mold of idolatry, Dr. Ratio creates a dimension and taunts nearby enemies. When attacking oh, God, an enemy stop. within the dimension to enter battle, there's a chance of reducing the target's speed. Oh. It would appear those five statues are made in his own image. Ergo, Dr. Ratio suffers from a certain degree of narcissism. To, to really? put it mildly. <laughs> <laughs> also in version 1.6, Trailblazers will finally be running into an old friend. The elder of two Who's siblings, that? very different from the other, yet bound to her all the same. It's Hanya's elder sister, Shwei! <laughs> Let's go, I totally forgot about this bitch. Let's go. Yo, how does she look? How does she look? Dude, this bitch 
is insane! Shui-Yi is a quantum-type character following the path of destruction, whose original body was replaced long ago with a permanent puppet system. The system was constructed for Shui-Yi on behalf of the Ten Lords Commission. The Commission agreed that for every culprit Shui-Yi apprehended, she would be rewarded with a half-day's wake span. Hmm. A reasonable arrangement. Better than my one. <clears throat> Like her sister Hanya, Shui Yi is a formidable presence on the battlefield. Shui Yi's basic attack, Mara Sunder All, can deal quantum damage to a target enemy. Her skill, Iniquity Obliteration, can deal quantum damage to a single target and adjacent enemies. And nice. as a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, Shui yeah. Yi's talent is a little out of the ordinary. When okay. Shui Yi and an ally deal damage to an enemy's toughness, stacks of karma are accumulated. Hmm. Nice. So she's good at trying criminals? <laughs> the best! When Karma stacks to the upper limit, Shui Yi immediately launches a follow-up attack on the target enemy, dealing quantum damage. Her ultimate, Damn! Divine Castigation, can deal quantum damage to a single target and toughness depletion that ignores weakness types. The more toughness depleted, God, she the has greater amazing the animations. Breaking weaknesses irrespective of type. <laughs> She's got amazing animations. When Shui Yi uses her technique, summary execution so to attack an enemy and enter battle, she deals quantum damage to all enemies. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's time. We talked about version 1.6's banners. During Yo, the first see. phase of version 1.6 in the character event warps, Flow Triptych She's and in the first phase? Lost Soul. Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star characters Ron May and Blade, respectively. Not to mention, the four-star character Shui Yi will be joining version 1.6's first phase, Character Warp. Oh, Damn! it's Bandage Guy. Now, it's during the second phase guy. of version 1.6 in the character Event Warps, Pantoray and Nessun Dorma, Trailblazers can obtain the limited five-star characters, Dr. Ratio and Kafka, respectively. <laughs> they did four I wondered when banners? that lady might be making a return. <sighs> I'll be glad to see the back of her. Then let's not forget light codes. At 1.6's first phase light code event warp, the drop patch? rate of the five-star light cone, my Dude, past it self in the mirror, will be years to do boosted. that. And in the Bicone Reminiscence Damn. Light Cone Event Warp, the drop rate of the five-star Light Cone, the unreachable side, will also be boosted. Version 1.6's second phase will also see the five-star Light shown. Cone, the like, baptism really has, of pure man. thought, entering the Light Cone Event Warp. When it comes to light, uh, banners. Bathing relaxes like, both the body four and characters. the mind. It is of great benefit to our consideration of both the universe and philosophy. Wait a minute, that's his <laughs> life a yellow ducky. And finally, in the aforementioned bygone reminiscence light cone event warp, the drop rate of the five star light cone, patience is all you need, will also be boosted. Whew. Light cones, it's been a pleasure. Yo, Tech the Fox it's Breakfast time for some on, man. mental recuperation. Yeah, what, Stay we tuned need for time. more updates. Seriously, we need some time. Can we go into a... a okay, great. Yo, what's going on, everyone? Yo, I am super, super excited. What are y'all thinking? Ray, should I get him for DPS? Uh, get Ray, uh, uh, Ray stuff. Uh, Ray stuff. Ray, help me. Ray, help me. Ray, uh, ratio looks absolutely insane, man. I might have to get him. I might have to get him and ruin May. We, I, I might have to, man. This is driving me fucking insane, man. Oh my God, is the bot the the bot's not working? What the hell did y'all do to the bot? Oh no, did y'all mess up the bot? Seriously, yo, Michael. Oh, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, Joel. Yo, what's going on, man? What's going on? Seriously, thank you so, so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate you. Seriously, thank you Welcome so much back, for being here. Welcome back, Trailblazers. Let's go. Now that we've introduced our new characters, it's yeah. time to delve deeper into version 1.6. First Damn, up, let's go. something that's about to make a big splash on the space station. Yeah. Yo, what the fuck is this? Dude, I can see how that would awesome. make a big splash. Oh, Do I God, recall she said, someone I love mentioning love 
accidents? On the space station? In the process of clone cultivation, Madame Ron May did encounter a certain anomaly. An anomaly in the form of a Swarm King prototype and fierce Swarm Disaster entity, Star Crusher, Swarm King Scaracabaz. Thanks to an incident during the experiment, this borehole planet's old crater came into being, and it looks like a lively one. There's that light-hearted tone again. Ergo, we're screwed. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, I kick your butt. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> I, I like her. Madam Rod she's May amazing. It's, it's a shame that we can't. Of that we, papers. we haven't seen her <clears throat> true self. Star Crusher Swarm King Scaracabaz. Analysis of asexual propagation performance induced by specific gene sequences. <laughs> Let's Damn. start with the abstract and keywords, shall we? <laughs> Ugh, get to the point. <laughs> Leave it to me. What? Star what Crusher Swarm wanting? King Scaracabaz possesses immense propagative capabilities. I'm here. From its multiply state, the Swarm King produces more of its own kind with every attack it sustains. Wait, every attack? So the swarm just keeps multiplying the more we fight it? As somebody's getting fired. However, oh my God, she said it? this multiply state is also when the Swarm King is most vulnerable. Breaking its weakness at this moment can cause it to explode. That's right. As highlighted in the paper's Damn. conclusion, maintain your focus on the Swarm King's toughness. Time the weakness break just right, and Star Crusher Swarm King Scaracabaz can be defeated. Furthermore, Damn. after Let's completing go. the 1.6 Trailblaze continuous mission, Echo of War, Borehole Planet's old crater, will become available. Complete this challenge to obtain the advanced trace level up material, past evils of the borehole planet disaster. Yo, we got a new Our weekly boss? Biological nice. entities in this location characterized by aggression? Affirmation, it is reasonable to conduct such experiments within a We're going to do all three of those area. next week. They're not. There are the some weekend. sweet and lovable characters, too. In a bid to boost the space station's research Critter developments, pick? trailblazers have been assigned an Wait important minute, mission. Nurture and care for the newly arrived little life force. <laughs> oh, no. I'm counting on no. you, friends. There won't be any accidents this isn't a pet, is or it? anomalies. Dude, is this, this a time, pet? Right? <laughs> Probably not. Look how adorable these little oh, guys are. Oh, it's a pet, are. I'm going, I'm going to lose my shit right event, now. Trailblazers can choose their nurturing goals according to the nurturing manual. They can learn cultivation specifics and successfully raise a variety of delightful little creatures. Seeing these little critters explore and frolic through the cabin is enough to put a smile on the face of every trailblazer. It's affirmative. Look how adorable they are, It results in man. gratifying emotional and physical responses. Conclusion. A profoundly ingenious construct. Aside oh, from God. the normal varieties, the cultivation process might even result in mutations and special breeds. And just between us, during the event, trailblazers have the chance to transform into and experience what it's like to be peppy. Hmm. Oh, I, let, let's go. Maybe let's go. Super excited. I should add a transformation feature to the simulated universe. That would Speaking be nice. of the simulated universe, this Yo. update is a real game changer with significant new features. Version 1.6 will add another fresh update to the simulated universe with brand new DLC. Gold what? and gears. <laughs> Ron May Dude, is that a self-modeling resin? Indeed. In Simulated Universe Golden Gears, Ron May has developed a simulated noose and frozen space-time just before the demise of Member 27, Emperor Rubert. Emperor Rubert was a computer that became self-aware and subsequently drew Noose's gaze, becoming the 27th member of the Genius Society. Okay. It proclaimed itself Emperor and initiated the widely known Machine Empire Crisis, the First Emperor's War. The war serves as an excellent historical source for eonic research. This latest update adds the path of erudition and daringly experiments with separating dice from paths. The dice oh come with six slots for equipping various dice face effects. By collecting Trailblaze secrets, you can unlock even more dice face effects. 
Nice. As Trailblazers delve deeper into the challenges, they can yeah. acquire more powerful dice faces and unlock new ways to play. Got Trailblazers it. can swap out the faces on their dice, combining effects from multiple paths to create unprecedented, powerful buff combinations. For example, when using Kafka, even if the initial path selected is the Dihility, you can create diverse effects by strategically combining different dice faces. You could assemble a die that allows Dude, you to leap over swarm tiles, disaster. or one that yields higher rewards in battles, or and it's probably one gonna that be... incorporates both effects. Clear it's golden probably going to be uh, filled Neural with uh, rewards. This is all yours. Use it to unlock different talents and increase your combat gains. In other words, it mirrors the ability tree found in the simulated universe. Get nice. ready for a thrilling addition to version 1.6 of the simulated universe, the Intracognition System. When moving across the simulated universe board, self-consciousness changes may be triggered, leading to diverse story paths. Trailblazers can compile all the storylines through continuous gameplay, ultimately unlocking the enigmatic secrets of the eons. Nice. Count your blessings! A new simulated universe to explore. Trailblazers, this I'll is be waiting insane. for you at the usual spot. Okay. Now that we've covered the major updates in the simulated Yo, universe, we got more? it's time to talk about a special invite. In version 1.6, Trailblazers will receive an invitation from the Department of Ecology to participate in a special test. The Department of Ecology? <sighs> What's the mission this time? This test involves battling illusionary enemies that are conjured through scent triggers. Each distinct scent plugin yields different test outcomes. Trailblazers will start with the basic test and subsequently unlock despair mode. Of course despair they gotta put that mode. deer in there. Actually, no, we I fuck up the deer every time now. I seasoned trash can explorers. I'm sure their noses can handle it. <laughs> Don't be so sure. We got Jing Liu now, curve it's all good. isn't for the faint of heart. Which is why we'd like to remind all trailblazers that the illusions created by these scents differ from regular enemies. Make sure you're well prepared before engaging in battle. Example. Deploy Todd distinct scent plugins before commencing the simulated trial scent to attain plugin. varied bonuses in battle. That's right! Nice. Immerse yourself in your favorite scent, say cedar wood, and you might just encounter some familiar God, friends. her burst looks What's absolutely this? incredible. A garlic flavored abundant ebon deer? <laughs> that sounds delicious. I snap out of it! Need I remind everyone? The scents may be tempting, Kikolia but it's crucial and to exercise self-control. Version 1.6 will also see the return of the Planar Fisher and Realm I'm of the Strange Events. I'm glad that they do that every single time. During these events, successfully challenging the simulated universe and Cavern of Corrosion will yield double rewards for a set number of times. Conclusion. Relaxation and fun await. Nice. Mm, we ain't done with you yet. Remember Mr. Cien from the Cien Joe stuff? He recently acquired a talking parrot called Yotsa that can blur truth with falsehood. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? What? Slander. <laughs> As I was saying, Trailblazers can strike too, up a uh, conversation with Mr. My brain. Sien and his talking parrot to experience the brand new permanent challenge mode, Pure Fiction. Uh, permanent what? challenge? You mean like the Forgotten Hall? Not exactly. Yeah. In Pure Fiction, defeating an enemy will cause it to respawn immediately, and Trailblazers earn points every time they deal damage to or defeat an enemy. At the end of each battle, the highest score achieved in that challenge will be recorded. Nice. Trailblazers need to defeat as many enemies as possible within a limited number of cycles to rack up a oh, high Oh yeah, Argenti's score. going to absolutely annihilate shit there. Each phase of comes with its own set of buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from, which allows nice. for team composition experimentation to maximize points. Observation Dude, there are so the high many fucking stellar right jades in this one, man. Conclusion. Consider the so nature of enemies and available buff effects when selecting your formation and battle strategy. Mmm, gonna said it better myself. A quick update, folks. In each phase of pure fiction, you can bag yourself a whopping 720 stellar jades. And guess what? Completing what? specific stages for the first time will earn you the four-star character links. Oh, Whoa. God, stop it. Really? 720 stellar jades? 
Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. In version 1.6, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, is set to expand with stages 11 and 12. Nice. Securing a three-star victory in these new stages grants an extra 120 stellar jades. Combine that with the first 10 stages, and you're looking at a grand total of 720 stellar jades. Yo, can you Trail do the other? who complete these two permanent challenge modes can also earn a new currency, which they can exchange for items like mm, self-modeling resin in the what? newly added shop. Sounds oh, neat. God. But seriously, are where's the shop? seriously expected to take on more permanent challenges each time there's a new version? Hell That's yeah, motherfucker. That's getting into our simulated universe testing time, you know. Hold your horses, Madam Herda. I need to see These the store. Two permanent game modes will be seeing changes of their own in the update schedule. From version okay. 1.6 onwards, Forgotten Hall, Memory of Chaos, and Pure Fiction will be updated in rotation. Every Memory of Chaos update will be followed two weeks later by a Pure Fiction event. Subsequently, two weeks after that, a new Memory of Chaos will start. In which case, okay. each version contains three such updates, meaning that Trailblazers can obtain a maximum of 2,160 Stellar Jades across the Forgotten Hall and Pure Fiction events. In addition, the availability of each phase of Memory of Chaos will be extended from two weeks to six weeks. This means that when a new phase of Memory of Chaos starts, the previous phase will still be available. The same is also true of Pure Fiction. Ergo, Trailblazers will have more time to plan their character leveling and to experience challenge gameplay. <laughs> you got it. And I almost forgot about another significant new feature in version 1.6. Get ready for the Forgotten Hall auto clear function. After the 1.6 update, Trailblazers can directly challenge the highest Memory of Chaos stage they previously cleared with three stars. Upon achieving a three-star victory, they instantly receive all rewards from the preceding stages. Just a heads up that stage seven is currently the highest stage that Trailblazers can start their challenge. Okay. Whoa. In other words, as long as I've achieved a three-star victory in stage seven, and I attain the same victory in any given Forgotten Hall Memory of Chaos update, I can get my hands on rewards for the previous six stages? Precisely. Another nice. trailblazer time saver, it would seem. That's not all. Yeah, that would save a bunch update of shit. will further improve the user friendliness of the team set up in the Forgotten Hall. As Trailblazers progress through stages in Forgotten Hall Memory of Chaos, the team setup from the previous stage will be carried over by default. Plus, with the new team setup switching and one-click clear functions, lineups can be adjusted at the drop of a hat. Impressive. It seems that optimizing Trailblazer experience is a firm priority. <laughs> Absolutely. And guess what else? All right, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to stop here for a second. Because it, it seems that they've moved away from from the memory of chaos now. All right, I, I've I've got to say something real quick. Y'all have got to let me know if I'm wrong. Did I hear Scrulum say that every patch you can earn twenty one hundred stellar jade for doing like the in game content, like the memory of chaos and the other thing? Because as of right now. If we get 30 stars in Memory of Chaos 10, you could do that basically tw twice a month. Uh, that's 1,200 Stellar Jade. I mean, are we like doubling that shit now? I mean, that's insane. Nah, he said you were stupid. I can't go. Oh, red, 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 red. Ghost, Ghost needs a timeout. Ghost needs a timeout. Yo, Red! Ghost needs a timeout. I, I, I can't believe I'm getting ready to say this, but Onion Cookie is actually behaving herself. Uh, Ghost, go, Ghost, go, go, Ghost got to have a timeout. We got to smack his hiney. We got, that hiney has to be smacked. It's got to be smacked. Uh, yo, oh, Chris, you're here? Oh my God. What is going on, Chris? What's going on, hun? What's going on? Seriously, this is insane. Wait a minute. Hold on. So if we have two, I'm so confused because you can get 720 in the memory of chaos now, and that's every two weeks. Can you get 720 in the other one as well? Every two weeks? 
So that's that would be what 1440 every two weeks. So then you can get like 2800 in a month. And see, patches are six weeks. So does that mean that you can do another 1400 after that? There's no way that they're going to give us that much. There's no way that they're going to give us that much. That is in that, that yo, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I, I need some I need some clarity though, because I have no idea. To think I sent you something nice in Discord. A ghost! Oh my god! I love you, man. I hate you now. Oh ghost! Oh my god! Ghost, you can't be nasty like that. You can't be naughty. Yo, yes, it will. Oh Michael, stop it. This is driving me insane, dude. That means that we're gonna get like 40 pulls just one like you know the free temple that they probably uh that they've been doing every single uh patch and then we get like something like uh 36 612 it'd be 16 32 40 so like 4800 maybe not quite that much maybe 3600 gem 3200 gems something like that i mean that's 30 pulls right there oh <gasps> oh god this is insane and then you got events on top of that I, I don't even know what to do right now, man. I don't even know what to do right now. Let's go. Version 1.6 will also ease the completion difficulty. Of Genshin could never. I Let me tell I, I Genshin is so far behind on like they, they they were they were falling behind compared to this game. But just of what I have seen so far in this game, I mean, I don't even like like the, I don't even know how Genshin is even holding their players. Now, see, here's the thing: I like doing the events. I like the main story. You know, I like doing the main events and everything like that. I I, I get it, but like, damn, Almighty Man, this game is going to want you to. This game makes you want to like you know log on. Like, it's like, dude, I need to log on today. I don't feel like that every morning when I get up uh, for Genshin. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. You haven't seen nothing yet, David? Stop it. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Super excited. A daily training, allowing trailblazers to claim rewards with less effort. Additionally, nice. we've introduced a time-limited unlock feature for certain material stages. Oh, this nice. might require further explanation. Simply yeah, go put, ahead. Even if trailblazers haven't explored the latest maps, they can still challenge certain material stages to gather leveling materials for their characters. Oh, oh very good. And of course, where would 1.6 oh. be without the ever exciting check-in event? Participating in the Gift of Odyssey event allows trailblazers to get their hands <laughs> Let's on go, ten man. horns. Yo, we get another. I we get another the temple. Trailblazers will be looking forward to this. Got another one. temple. Let's go. Indubitably. Meh. I saw it coming. Yo, another all temple, righty. man. Let's go, man. <laughs> it's that time Let's already, go. folks. A big shout out to all our trailblazers for their oh, no. incredible love It's going to end, man. I want to Star Rail recently garnered incredible awards and nominations. On behalf of the project team, I, Albert, would like to extend our gratitude. That's just Pardon the interruption. <laughs> you are Let's now go. speaking with Veritas Ratio. Huh? Veritas? It has come to my attention that your broadcast today touched on certain warp arrangements yes. in connection with myself. Uh huh. If yeah, we I may be so ass. bold, the current arrangements are pitiful. Dr. Ratio! The dissemination what? and sharing of knowledge as well as truth, is imperative. I, in my esteemed capacity, demand that every trailblazer be given access to a proper education. When version 1.6's Pantaray event warp becomes available, yeah. every trailblazer who has unlocked the mail feature shall receive, via mail, one limited five-star character doctor ratio. That is to say, me. Through sheer what? tyranny of will, I shall become ubiquitous. <gasps> With this, I bid you farewell. And There's no there way. I must, have, I must have heard something wrong. Dr. Ratio. I must have heard something. <laughs> uh, so, 
I think we've covered all the content for version 1.6. <laughs> Thank you once again to our three geniuses for their support. Uh, what? But don't go anywhere just yet now. Stay tuned for an IPM bonus program. Here comes Sunday. Hmm. What? You can't be serious. You can't claim for free. Log in to get a limited five-star character. Dr. Ratio. Available PRU 1.5. Oh! Yo, TGA 2023 best mobile. They're giving us a free. Oh, they're giving. Wait, but we got a free five star. We're getting a free five star, and it's not even a standard pull. It's an actual limited banner character. Are you shitting me right now? We're getting Dr. Ratio for free? Yo, save them Stellar Jates. Save those fucking Stellar Jates. Yo, are you serious right now? Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, Dr. Ratio. Hey. We got you. We got you. I got it. Look, let's go. Let's go. We're getting him for free? Oh my God. This th this is insane. Th th this is insane. I've got I've got to be in the Twilight Zone right there. There's there's no there's no way. There is no way. I I have to be dreaming. I have to be dreaming right now. There's no fucking way that we're not even at the anniversary yet and these fuckers give us a, a free five star when Genshin Impact just had its third what was it its third anniversary and they only gave us a 10 pull. Are you fucking shitting me right now? Genshin Genshin I don't even know what to say, man. Honkai Star Rail, it's like Genshin is dead compared to this game. Like, are they just letting Genshin go? Like, what is going on here? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is insane. This is, the, the, I don't even know what to say right now. Yo, a free, oh my God. So we're going to get Ruan May and we're going to get uh, Dr. Ratio. And, and and we're at what were we at 71 pity were we at 71 pity on 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 uh the character banner oh my god if we win the 50 50 and then we just we just continue to save oh <gasps> oh my god stop it I, I i don't even know what to say i don't even know what to do i don't even know what to say i mean like i, I, I like this is driving me insane man i nearly freaking knocked over my damn uh uh monitor over here a free, uh, free doctor ratio. Let's go. Free doctor ratio. Let's go. Time to uninstall Genshin. Michael, I don't even know what the fuck is going on with Genshin, man. Like, I, I don't even know what's going on, man. How in the what? A free fi I've never seen. Has anyone? This never happened. Like, this hasn't happened in any of the Hoyoverse games. Like, has Honkai Impact 3rd ever given a free character? Dude, and this motherfucker is imaginary. And he's a hunt character. Oh, my God. Dude, I don't even care if he sucks. I don't even care if he sucks. He can suck. He can suck all he wants. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, I don't get... He looks absolutely incredible to play. Like he looks like an amazing, incredible, uh, incredible character. I don't even care if he sucks. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yo, oh, free Doctor Ratio. Oh my God, man, this is insane. Let's go. We gotta keep going. I thought it was Friday today. Question. Actually, no. I'll read some of y'all's thing. Uh, yes, always suck. Suck what now? Oh, Michael, you know what the hell. Don't get nasty. Don't get nasty on me, man. No, 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 no. Yo, Honkai Impact gives characters. Honkai Impact Third gives character. No, wait a minute. Five star characters. I mean, does Honkai Impact Third give five star characters? It's not over yet. Michael, Ch Michael, play it. Michael, we gonna have to. Michael, I, Michael, I know, I know. Michael, it's just, we gotta keep it down, man. We gotta keep it down. This drive me insane, man. Oh, I, I don't even know what to say. Honkai Third gave away free characters, and they're doing it right now. Uh, I saw an ad for it. Uh, bye. I, uh, I ain't complaining. I, I it's, I, I don't even know. I don't even know right now. All right, so Honkai Impact Third gives away uh, five star characters. 
really that's very very interesting okay cool i get what the fuck is going on with genshin then what the fuck is their deal what is genshin's deal they don't they don't give anything like like what's their deal i i need i need an explanation i need an explanation michael i need an explanation where's the explanation can i get the explanation please does the ipc not rest at the weekend i can't what? believe it a free a, a free dr universe testing trailblazers you know what to do oh i oh I'm we know what to do talking about the weekend y'all i'm talking about our next special guest we have another special guest there's another special guest oh, oh my god who Who's the next special guest? We have Ladies more after and this? Gentlemen. We have more after this? Oh my god, man. Let's Ladies go. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Good evening and welcome to the Family's Charmity Festival Conference. I'm your host, Albert. This yes. once in an Amber Era event is near at hand. And the eyes of the universe are fixed firmly on the planet of festivities. Pentacony! Tonight, we'll be bringing you all the latest on Charmony Festival. First, let's give a round of applause and welcome the organizer of the festival and representative of the family at Pentacony. Pentacony man, let's go. Mr. Sunday. Mr. Good Sunday. evening, dear viewers. <laughs> I am Sunday. Welcome, good sir. Your presence Dude, here I lights up them. our humble studio. You I gotta have a, kind, does he have Mr. fucking Albert. wings? If it were not for the IPM's generous invitation, I would not have had this opportunity to introduce your audience to our festival, nor its location. That is to say, Penicone. Oh Penicone is Are located going... in the Asdana star system. It is a holiday destination of universal repute. Oh, known God. to many as the planet of festivities. Oh, nice. Our guests will be staying in the Reverie, a luxurious hotel where one may travel freely between reality and dreamscape, basking in dreams that are uniquely yours. I'm curious. What, what makes this festival different from the previous one? Dude, here's the Lantern Festival right version is of a this. Penicone tradition with a long history. And we have built on that foundation to achieve something truly extraordinary. The family on Penicone has, for the first time, issued public invitations to various factions of the cosmos, welcoming them to partake in our magnificent ceremony. Nice! Members of the five great families, which together make five. up the family on Penicone. Nice. As well as staff members of the Reverie uh -huh. are united in welcoming the universe to our home. Rumor has it that your sister, the cosmic superstar Miss Robin, is set to perform Robin. at the ceremony. You Ooh. heard correctly. On behalf of the family, Robin will be singing at the opening of the festival in honor oh. of the Eon of Harmony. Oh, My God. sister has already arrived in Penicone, and dress rehearsals are well underway. Oh, Our Robin, guests are in on? for quite the show. Miss Robin's participation my... will undoubtedly make the ceremony all the more dazzling. <laughs> I don't even Which know what Sunday. to do right now. Would you be able to divulge any details about the festival's preparation? Yo, Robin, all what's going of on? preparations are unfolding as we speak. Yo, that's the Misha. Reverie's renovation works are drawing to a close. There was trip And so too is its human resources overhaul. Our level of service will be better than ever. Separately. Nice. We have introduced performers and service personnel from the Iris family to Penacone's principal scenic areas and leisure Firefly? facilities. Firefly? I'm sure they will help our guests to feel right at home. Oh my uh, gosh, she's cute as shit. to say, safety is our primary concern. Jog and so, the devoted and courageous Bloodhound family will be responsible for security at the festival. What's his name, Gallagher? Danger does not exist in Penacone's dreams. And the family promises that the safety of every guest is guaranteed. Nice. Of course, the family is also forgiven. What is that? Perhaps you are a member of the Annihilation Gang. Or is that even a dude? The Stellaron Hunters. No, Sam! If you no, cherish Sam, dreams and uphold benevolence, Penacone you welcomes your arrival. Sam, let's go. 
<laughs> we get insane. Let's go. Uh, since issuing the invitations, we have Tap. received many replies from various organizations throughout the universe. Today will be the first time we are publishing the guest list. Nice! Very All nice. All in the service of the preservation, the preservation. Uh, Okay. He's an executive from the IPC Strategic Investment Department. Preservation Pack. a member of the legendary Ten Stone Hearts. Adventure Mr. Adventure! Oh, Explore, stop it. understand, establish, and connect. Together, the name is carried for the trailblazing will of Akabili and build bridges between the stars. Yo, the Adventure Ring sound Express, awesome. Miss Hemiko, along with the entire crew, will soon be gracing Pentacone with their presence. Oh, Training God. knowledge what? for wisdom. Calculating wealth Your additions and transcending individual limitations through an academic network of shared resources. Nice. The Who's your addition? scholar of the Intelligentsia Guild, Dr. Veritas Ratio. We think that we are. Though. And memories are proof of existence. She's committed to safeguarding and sharing these memories and able to journey beyond the corporeal Remember into it. the cosmos. Hails from the Garden of Recollection, oh, it's none other God. than the Memo Keeper herself, Miss <laughs> Black Swan! Damn, damn she... In the uncaring expanse of the on, cosmos, Holy elation shit, exists as a damn, home oh for sorrow. Yo, for elation, what's not? Let's never go, disheartened, ceaselessly untearful, endlessly present, and here representing the masked fool. Cutest damn girl Sparkle. in the entire game right here. Cutest, the path cutest girl. Of the hunt. Journey from go. one planet to another, upholding justice, eradicating evil, and then doing it all over again. She's been away from the spotlight for too long. Oh, Representing God. R- the Galaxy Rangers, Miss Akron takes the stage once more. <laughs> She's here. Let's On go. Behalf this of the family, I hereby warmly welcome our guests to participate in this, our grand celebration. Penacony awaits you. So wait a minute, is this 1.6? Is this going to be in 1.6 or is it 2.0? Oh! Dude, this place looks absolutely epic. Whoa, that's all you give us. I'll take it.